The following podcast episode is presented to you uncut and slightly edited, as well as being broadcasted in stereo sound. To achieve full effect, it is recommended to listen with headphones in or on both ears. I don't even want to do this stupid thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm ready, but I'd rather not. I hate, I hate doing like the editing and shit. This, this is stupid. Well, we're here on Yoke Everywhere this week with, uh, I'm Trevor, and you know... I'm Kyle. Welcome, welcome to episode uh, four, featuring our number four guy, Ivy, Walter Minister Walter Leander West the Fourth. Welcome back to the program, Ivy. Is this really episode four? This yes, is a- that's right, yeah. Ivy. Wow, my chair's so squeaky. A little bit. Thank you for after me. Yeah, thanks for coming on. We know you got a busy schedule, and it's hard to get together sometimes. You know, it was hard to get here. Yeah, uh, yeah. Traffic's a bitch. There was some asshole that kept cutting me off. Mm-hmm. I literally just trying to walk in the door. Yeah. And this guy just got in my way. Yeah, he's Man. so tall. Like, I yeah. didn't get it. You saw him. He was this big, tall, ugly dude. Yeah, dark yeah. hair. Looks like an egg. <laughs> yeah, very... Uh, do you know quality. this guy? No, we just Does saw he him. bother you frequently? Well, he... <laughs> yes. He likes to try to get on the show, and we're like, I think, okay. I think he was on your previous episode, Ivy. He was sitting in the room, but very quietly. Yeah, he had, like, one line. He's got Okay, so you guys know this guy who was bothering me, and you didn't say, like, hey, can you not bother our guests? He doesn't listen to us. Yeah. <laughs> he, we've tried so many times. He doesn't, <sighs> he doesn't respect. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't respect Kyle. But... I don't think. <sighs> well. All right, well, uh. So something we do with our uh, returning guests is we uh, bring up past uh, segments and things that they said. So we'll start off with this clip here that we'll insert. I don't like families. Oh, you don't like your. I see family? them around at the park, what and I just sit there and think, "Good God, wear a condom next time." So, do you still have that? Do you still hold that opinion, Ivy? Yes. Oh, well, I mean, I, I I don't have a problem with them. Like, do you, Trevor? I personally don't see an issue, but Ivy, I'd like to know a little bit more how this opinion of yours has developed over time since you said this about three years ago. Well, so really what it comes down to is quite simple. I said something once, yeah, and because I'm an American, that's what I believe the rest of my life. Okay. So you're never going to have kids? I mean, it doesn't apply to myself, as oh, I said. Enough. I'm an American. Of course. I can say whatever I want and it applies to the others, but me? No, of course not. No, you no, think no. I wear rubbers? Well, I, I hate know. to make assumptions, but I mean, what What about um, this other clip that we have? Oh, I thought we had two clips. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I'm going to let Kyle, you can handle this update. We just have <laughs> other uh, other things to bring up from the podcast. So uh, how's your comedy career been going? Because you said uh, on your last episode, or the, the other episode you were on, you said that you were do possibly, I, I guess, maybe you did it, maybe you didn't. You said you were possibly going to be doing comedy at I Yacht showed Club up on once nights. and got drunk on accident. Did you do comedy? No, oh. I drank. Was it oh. funny? I don't recall. Okay. I know this, all I want to do, I... I want to be able to go to an open mic comedy show and I want to see somebody do a whole bit about how they're not going to fuck the stool. Because it's like the most, like, everyone knows that it's the hackiest, dumbest thing, but someone's going to fuck, someone's going to hump the stool. Yeah. And it would be so funny if someone was just like, you know... I know I'm not supposed to, but looking at it from from your guys' angle, you think it doesn't, you don't do it. But from this angle... It's like, I want to, but I won't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I'm not going to, but I get it now. Yeah. Like, I just think that drawn out and just somebody just talking about that for 15 minutes would be really silly. All right. You could be that person. No. <laughs> well, did you happen to watch any of the Oscar movies on the... That you were talking, we were talking about on your episode. I believe you said you were gonna check out the post from 2018 Oscar nominations. Therefore, there were movies that came out in 2017. Oh, okay. So that's the one about the fence post. No, that that was about 
the uh, the New York Post, I think. Are I you know. sure? It was directed by Steven Spielberg. You said I could which, have... one, which fence movie did you see? What was it about? <laughs> you, are you thinking of fences? No, I'm thinking of about the Post. It's the the it, one with it, Meryl Streep. And... No, it's a god damn it! It's a fucking epic of a movie that spans three hours. It, you, it's well, a whole rise and death. Well, the that's fence, the one that's got Denzel. The, the, the fence goes up. The fence yeah, goes down, over. and all that's left at the end of the movie is the Post. Hence the post. No, we're talking about the post, like the movie we were talking about in your episode that you said you would watch. I did you watch it? I watched a movie called The Post. So it wasn't that post. It was a different post. It sounds like he tried. I don't know what post you're talking about. You sound kind of incompetent. Anyway, that reminds me. Also, in your episode, you seem to think that I was a poor host and that I didn't have enough confidence. Generally, you still you did think not, that you did not seem to enjoy your time on the last episode. Do you think that holds true and how do you think that bears on this episode? Well, I definitely think I came in here and you guys had a chip on your shoulder. I think no. you guys knew that you had to make this a little bit better just cuz I was sitting in this chair. Oh, you mean this right this one. This right now? <laughs> Jesus Christ, you did it's it again. <laughs> Holy shit. Are you talking about this episode or the last episode? I'm legitimately I confused. walked in here. A man bothered okay, me. Okay, so this, this episode. Today. Okay. <laughs> on the way in. Yep. I come in, smile on my face. I know the world was shitty out there, but I said, you know what? I'm going to have a great time. These guys have improved. They're, re- they're going back again. Have we improved? Do you think that? Would, I did. Would you be willing to, to say that online for us? Like... In a review sort of format, because we have not heard that one a lot, that we've gotten better. So on your last episode, you also brought up... (laughs) um, Well, Kyle, why don't you talk about this one, because I think you knew a little more about it. Well, yes, uh, you were talking about this podcast, and you wanted to come in here. And it reminds me that you have a podcast, do you not, with your former roommate, Cameron? That you plugged, I believe it was called Just Guys Being Dudes Being Roommates podcast. You said that you, I don't recall, did, had you recorded the first episode and not uploaded it? Or had you, or did you have to re-record it? You know, there were several projects that have been created over the past couple years that haven't been released fully. I'm not sure where that project is currently at, if I'm being honest. Oh. Well, so, so it's we, not publicly available? For I, honestly, I have, I have no clue. Oh, oh that is disappointing. Man. I would have liked to hear it. Well, Very so, much. Well, speaking of projects, what are you here to plug today? What are you here to promote? Yeah. Oh, today I am here to promote... Where the fuck did I put it? Here we are. Ott's Original Wing Sauce. Oh. Small batch since 1947. No high fructose current... High f- fructose corn syrup. That's how you pronounce that word. Um, I'm going to cut to the chase with you, okay? Yeah. Much like Ricky Bobby's best, plain and simple, best there ever was... Yeah. Ott's might be the greatest wing sauce ever. Really? It I, is a I, buffalo I style. Um, Excellent sauce. It, Sometimes I get lost in it. It's so good. And there's another hot sauce company out there um, that I don't want to... I don't want to talk down upon other manufacturers, other brands, or nothing. But their campaign slogan is, I put that shit on everything. And... And I would say everything about their campaign slogan is true for Ots. Oh, I see. So Ots should take that marketing strategy because it's actually more true for them. And I would like to point out, this is our unofficial sponsor for the week. So yes. Ots, if you are hearing this or if anybody listening knows. I Ots. also think Franks should just be more honest about their campaign slogans which should I'm, just I'm be being, we don't have to be rude we no to, it should be franks I mean about, people who use our hot sauce support domestic terrorism that's what they should say so oh. they should be it just, would be so you're saying franks that they should be more frank i am saying that people who use frank's hot sauce may also be domestic terrorists hmm. you can do with that information what you will but if you're ever at a dinner party and they put franks on the table Go ahead and take that hand grenade you keep in your backpack and do some domestic terrorism yourself. I think that's a great transition to our next segment, which is news. Yeah, yeah. so also, Ots, please send us money. Yes, please. But uh, Oh, Ots, just send me sauce. I'll get lost. Both, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kyle, you've got some news prepared for us today. Yes. All yeah. right, so 
Ivy, maybe you know how this works if you're a listener. Maybe you don't if you're not. So the way this works is that I I have four news headlines. I'll read one at a time, and after each one, you're going to have to guess whether or not it is an actual news story from this week or not. Now, I just want to tell you, you and I are competing against each other. This is a competition? Yep. Yes, and I have a perfect track record so far. So you're going to give four, and I guess... And three of them are real, and I have to find the fake one. Well, I'm not going to tell you how many are real. They are all true or false. (laughs) Oh, so each one we say true or false. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's play. Okay. The first one. Strangler found dead, or found strangled to death in his prison cell. That is true. True, yeah. Oh, did you guys read about that? No. I just, I'm perfect at this game. Yeah, it's... It's just that you were so quick. It's really simple. Okay, how about this one? Uh, Czech woman with dementia accidentally steals art piece from museum. No. Yes. Have you just saying no, it's not true? It's not true. True. It is made up. <sighs> That's two points for Ivy. The reason that you know that one's false is because the the dementia, like, you can have dementia and steal from a museum. Like, that's not, those aren't, like, it's not Correlation like, is not causation. Yeah, like, if, if, if the headline was, like, woman with dementia steals, like, piece from museum... And when the, like, and doesn't, and forgets it type of, like, if it's that, or, like, and leaves it at the bus station. Like, I get that. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. Okay, well, I gotta come back from this now. There's only two left. I mean, these, these aren't really, uh, headlines verbatim. That's fine. All right, next one. Uh, delivery drone accidentally carried chipmunk back to facility. True. I think that chipmunk wanted to go for a free ride, as I would if I saw a delivery drone. I would also this, crawl on the little hammock they have. I think it's false, but I'm saying true. I agree. This okay. one, yeah, I'm on your side. All right, both true. It's false. Ooh, that was a good one. Thank you. It, it was too absurd to be real, but I'm like, uh, it's... You gotta want it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, last headline. Smoking 100 cigarettes in North Carolina qualifies you for a COVID vaccine. True. True. As long as you uh, consume the 100 cigarettes before March 20th, I believe. Oh, so you heard about that? Yeah, I'm <laughs> okay, 50 it's true. in. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> He's getting that vaccine and then going to North they Carolina. Get, they told you. I Well, because you think about it, okay? Like, you're like, have I ever been blacked out and asked a friend for a cigarette when they were smoking? Yes. No. How um, many times no. have you done that? No. Probably 10. So I actually only have to smoke 90. And I said to myself, can I do three cigarettes a day? Nope. But I can do a pack the first day, uh, die for a week, and then do another. Okay. I, it, it seems like very interesting product placement for cigarettes. Like imagine if McDonald's was like, hey, if you have a punch card and you get 10 Big Macs in a week, we'll give you the vaccine. It's a weird <laughs> system. My question, okay, but like can they... <laughs> Did did cigarette sales go up is what I want to know. Yeah, because I like, bet they did. And, like, I get that smokers need the vaccine. <laughs> Everyone should get it if you can. But yeah. uh, it just, see, it's like, did sales go up? You know? <laughs> that shouldn't be in, that shouldn't be published to the, that should just be on the back of cigarette packs. And if you <laughs> see it, you go. You go. <laughs> like, it's a, and it, at the bottom, it should just say, hey, don't ask, don't, t-. like, don't, hush, hush. <laughs> Yeah. This is a need to know circumstance. You know, I'm kind of disappointed that the pandemic isn't over since we solved it last week. I know. And no one listened to us. We had the perfect solution, and here we are sticking needles in. You people. know what the problem is? We just don't have enough listeners. Everybody listening, share this podcast with at least two other people. And really? Have them share with this two is other the people. same thing of fucking YouTubers being like, only 20% of you are subscribed. And then you're like, well, well actually, only subscribe. half the viewers are subscribed. I actually looked at those numbers for our video. So if you're also not subscribed, please <laughs> hit that like button. Smash that like button. <laughs> Anyways, Kyle, do you have some celebrity news for us? This of course, week? everyone loves celebrity news. So first one, woman eats McDonald's after getting drunk with sister. Second one, woman believes good news helped induce labor. And the last one, singer admits to having a Justin Bieber obsession. Hmm. So it's good to keep up with the famouses in our society. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Kyle, do you want to give us a quick Phyllis update? Or I guess a cactus update now that you have an entire family. Oh yeah, they're all they're all doing pretty good. They could probably use some watering like within the next week. 
Good. That's good. Um, How many do you have now? Three. Phyllis, Philip, Andy. Andy's a zebra plant. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. He's a spiky boy. Very much so. Spiky. I mean, they're all kind of spiky. But he's like just spikes. Well, IV, do you have uh, something prepared for us today? I do. What is our guest segment? Um, before I get into the guest segment, I have to debut a new guest segment, oh, which is uh, guest Twitter beef of the week. Okay. I, I, I mean, I don't know if our future guests will be doing this. But That's fine. If they're they listeners can. like most of them are, they may oh. hear this and decide to implement it. Um, do you hear that, AJ? So, so there was... For those who are not aware, the NFL draft is coming up, and there is a wide receiver out of Alabama named Devonta Smith, who just won the Heisman Award, best college football player. Good for him. Um, trending on Twitter the other day was a question of who is your former NFL player, or current or former NFL player comparison for Devonta Smith. A lot of the consent over, or, uh, is consent? No. The Consensus? Consensus opinion is Marvin Harrison, former great guy, because they both have, they're both six foot, 175 pound guys who are really good at route running and like really smart. Yes. Smaller, but smarter guys. Somebody replied with Randy Moss and I got mad. (laughs) So I tweeted out, I may have found the worst take ever. Devonta Smith's comp is Randy Moss. For those who are unaware... Randy Moss is six foot four and ran a four two forty. Like the dude is f- tall as shit, fast as fuck. Randy and Moss is, was on the Vikings. He was on the Vikings. Uh, he set the rookie receiving touchdown record his uh, first year in the league until it was broken uh, this year by fellow Vikings rookie Justin Jefferson. Randy, my point is, Randy Moss is a freak of nature, mm-hmm. and Devonta Smith just isn't that dude. So I called out this guy for his horrible take, and he says, worry about Iowa trying to be relevant for the first time in their program's history instead of retweeting my shit. Thumbs up emoji. That thumbs up emoji was the perfect level of passive aggressiveness there. Yeah, it it kind of ties the whole thing together. Yeah, like, it was him being like, yeah. I'm being an asshole. He's, I get it. <laughs> um. So he that was just kind of oh fuck that guy. Okay. Um. Just shout out to that guy. Yeah. In I'm a like, negative way. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> if you're following the NFL draft enough to like be commenting about it on Twitter and whatnot, get if, if how can you be that wrong? If and also if you're gonna jump into the comment section on anything, you, you should be up, right. Yeah, or you're opening yourself up to criticism, whether you like it or not. You hear that, <laughs> listeners? If you leave a comment, you're opening yourself up to criticism. Exactly, because we get a lot of comments on our videos. It's hard for us to reply to them all, but we do our best. He, he's Kyle's in the comments the whole time. What? No. He needs to stop. Guys, I'm trying to keep this interesting, okay? <laughs> God, this podcast is already a pain in the ass. <laughs> Let's just move on hey. to the stupid guest segment. So, before we... Are you two okay? Do Let's just do the guest segment and we'll finish this okay. episode. And okay, we'll, okay. Yeah, and we can all be happy. Alright, so, I'm prepared to play a game with you two. Um, nap. We are going to... Draft states in a snake draft order from what? different regions of the United States. Did you say snake? Snake draft. So I don't know what that means. we're gonna like it's you're like a tan when yes. you build the houses and roads one, and two, it goes three, one, three, two, three, two, three, three, two, one. Yeah, that. Yes. So basically, the different regions here of the US, the West, the Southwest, the Midwest, the South, and the Northeast. Yes. So just for our listeners, Ivy is holding a visual aid. That has oh, here you go. I can I can explain the whole thing. Okay, so basically, each we're each going to pick one state from each region, so we each end up with five states. Um, just whatever you're basing it off of, whether it's like the quality of the state itself, the cities, the uh, what to do, what whatever you just kind of sell it. Okay, and then at, when we're done, we'll see who comes up with the best uh, the best starting five. For is this in terms of sports or in terms of a new country? It is so. The way I look at it is that 
if you had to pick one state from this from each of them, and those were the only states in that area that you could go to your rest, like you're doing the best Ooh. shit. Okay, so just so the um, best from each region. So, like for example, let's take Illinois. Yeah. In the Midwest region, I think Chicago. Like Chicago is the biggest city. I'd argue it's the best. Outside of Chicago, Illinois does not have that much going for it. As a state, it kind of sucks. However, I mean, we got Peoria compared to the rest of the region. So, like, you look at the South. The South has a lot of great, like, different cities, coastlines. There's so much. Like, there's the Appalachian Mountains. There's tons of cool shit. So we're picking five states, and we're saying why those are the best five states. And but you can't, you, you can't pick what someone else. Has yeah. Picked. So you can't yeah, pick what yeah. someone else has already picked. You can't pick multiple from the same region, so you have to have one of each. Yes. You're going to have to hold this map up for most of it. I'm well aware, and that's why my hand is very comfortable. Yeah, you seem pretty professional. You could probably put it on the bed there. Yeah, if you want. You don't have to give away our location. Christ. Okay. Our, 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 our steady listeners know we record this in my room. Yeah. So, to determine the order, um, I have... Hand num- I have fingers up behind my back between the numbers zero fingers and five fingers. Kyle, how many fingers do you think I have behind my back? Five. You have five because you have a whole hand. How many fingers are up behind my back? So are they pointed up or are they like... Jesus fucking Christ. Trevor, how many? Two. Kyle. Six. Who's closest? <laughs> well, let's see here. Kyle could have picked five, <laughs> but because he, I only have five fingers on the hand. Uh, yeah. One. He yeah. had th- He was holding three. Two. We'll go Kyle last. Okay, so Trevor first. All right, so I get cream of the crop on this decision. You do get cream of the crop. Um, again, there you have to pick one from each region. Once, you, and then you cannot pick a state that someone has already picked. Okay. Okay. Now. I'm so, going to get bold. Hold on, I have a real quick question. Yes. So is it we each pick one from a region and we go like back and forth with that? Like, is he picking one? I'll like pick only one. one? Yeah. You pick... He's picking one. And let's, I'll explain yeah. why I like it. Let's let's say his top pick. Okay, okay. And okay. we're so just going to use one right yeah, now. Yeah. We're gonna, just for my one, example. And yeah, yeah. And we don't all have to pick from the same region. Yeah, okay. Like, okay. I might want to get that was my only fucking question. Nebraska for some dumb reason because Nebraska sucks. He can pick. I'm good. All right. Okay. My question's answered. Now I'm I'm going to start probably not where you think. Now Ivy, where I'm pointing on the map, what region is? What region would you call that? That is the Southwest. Southwest. I'm going with Oklahoma, number one. Wow. Yeah. Start. That is the worst pick in the entirety yeah. of this. Doesn't nope. Oklahoma have a song? Not. It has a whole musical. I think. No, that's actually the worst pick. What are you doing? Can't be because listen, Texas. Trevor's although, going for the underdog. Although Texas has the potential to be great at the moment, I don't think it is. So yeah, I'm they get ignoring the power Texas. Issues. Now, I know you're partial to Arizona. And okay. I'm not going to pick Arizona right now because I haven't been and it's a lot of desert. Now, I hate Phoenix, but okay, here's the thing. Oklahoma, all you have right now yeah. is Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Oklahoma, yes. and then uh, Grazing Fields. I will give you Oklahoma... Uh, Oklahoma University and Oklahoma State are solid. Yes. However, Texas, you get Dallas, Houston, San Antonio. Like you have much better cities in Austin. You it's have too be- much. It's too much. Oklahoma. You have a coastline in Ar- uh-huh. Arizona. Is a far more beautiful state. The fucking Grand Canyon. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, what are you doing? The amount I have potential. all my picks in mind, and I have very specific reasons why I pick them. And I can't do the same arguments for other states. So I have a bad feeling about this for me. But also, if you look at a map of the Southwest region, there are only four states in the Southwest. Oklahoma is the coolest shape. It looks like a pipe, and you could do so much with that. So that's my final answer locked no, in. No, I, I it is your turn. Okay, I, I respect that. <laughs> um, I'm going to go Texas. Yeah. Yeah. For the reasons previously for the discussed. Yeah, for all the reasons I just said, I will take <laughs> Texas. I Yeah. All right. My, my turn? Yeah. All right, well, I guess I'll stay in the same region pick... New Mexico, because that's where they shoot Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Shot. Shot. Well, they're still they're still, they're still I, doing Better Call Saul. True, true. I think that's a better pick than <laughs> yours. <laughs> See, I think... So do I, I get to pick again? Or yes, just start you pick again. And go backwards. And okay. now we do not need to pick from the Southwest anymore. We actually can. Yeah. Well, yeah. 
Well, yeah. I'm going to pick California because that's where Hollywood that's, is. And that's, that's where the they correct shoot a lot pick. of movies. Go for it, yeah. California is the right... Just... Yep. Yeah, for all the reasons that California is great. I have a thing um, my pattern. I got uh, it. I'm going to go with New York. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I mean, I don't think I have to defend that pick. I think it's... Because they shoot yeah. movies there sometimes, too. No! What? <laughs> Is I okay? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna stay in Kyle's region. I am picking Washington State. Wow. Yep. Thank you. It's it all is rainy there, and that's what makes it great. Well, it's rainy weather is awesome. There's a lot going on. You're gonna Seattle. you're gonna it's give me Colorado. Place. I thought Go you were gonna take it. Nevada. Colorado. Well, I don't have to take it because I can wait. That's my last pick. Wait. What? You have a st- You have California. You have Washington. No one else is going to pick a state in the West. Well, you so- can't pick Colorado and Nevada. I don't want Nevada. I thought you said you did. I'm taking I Colorado. Said you he, said- thought, he thought Colorado would be taken by the time it got to him. Yeah. Whose turn is it? It's mine again. I get to double up. Oh yeah, you double up the now. snake. Oh, no. So I guess I'll go to Kyle's region. Well, you just were. You just took. Oh, I'll Washington. go to Ivy's region. I mean, so we don't and I'm going to pick. Wait, so you're going to the northeast? Yes. Yeah. New England area. New England plus the Mid Atlantic, or some of the Mid Atlantic. Okay. Rhode Island. That's Rhode a good Island. pick. Yeah, it's so it's quaint. I... It's got enough going on. I think like, you can bike across it. Exactly. You can. Um, for like the thing with Rhode Island is that like per square inch of the state. It's, per, like, that's the best per square inch. Size so doesn't matter. No, because you, you, ha- do with the you have Providence, and then, like, Providence is right in the middle of the state, but it's in a bay, connected to the ocean, and from Providence, you can get to anywhere in Rhode Island in an hour and a half. So, like, great. you, you want to go to the beach? Yeah. Hour and a half. You want to go up to mm-hmm. a lake in the woods? Hour and a half. You want to be in the city? You're there. Like, it's perfect. Yes. It's, uh, it's not a you, Ivy. Okay. Um... Now, these are the two regions, or I guess I have three regions left. I have the West, I have the Midwest, and I have the South. I was really hoping... I'm not... I can't take Colorado yet, because I have that locked in. But in the Midwest, I don't... Uh, I don't want to take make my pick yet, and I didn't want to make my pick yet in the South. Like, I wanted one to be off the board for each of them, but because I have to pick... You've got to christen them. I'm... Okay, I'm split between Tennessee and Georgia. Okay. Um, Georgia, you have Atlanta, you have the ocean. Mm -hmm. Um, Like, Savannah's a nice city. Uh, Augusta National, I get the Masters. I get... um, University of Georgia, the Bulldogs, UGA in Athens. It's an awesome place. Like Tennessee, though. I'm going Tennessee. I love that state. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, I'm going Tennessee. Fuck Georgia. It's a good pick. <sighs> Kyle, you're up for two in a row. Okay, I'm gonna pick Georgia because they shoot movies there. That's I. Yeah, I was gonna pick Georgia. They shoot movies in Atlanta. Like the show Atlanta. Excellent. Like I acknowledge, Georgia is the right pick. Mm-hmm. All right, and I get a second one, right? Yep. Yep. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little uh, curveball here that you guys might not expect, but I'm it'll make sense it. in a second. I don't think you are. I'm gonna go with Missouri because that's where the world famous Ops hot sauce is originally from. You're just gonna take my pick like that, and for the exact <laughs> reasoning. Wait, you were gonna? You think I didn't know that, and I was ready for the bit? Should should have pulled the trigger. Oh no! <laughs> well, now they gotta send us money for sure. We got the double promotion. I only have one area left. Yeah, but it's now back to IV. Yeah, you got. Also, two... there's a movie called. Me I have two picks, so I can pick. Any city from the mid, or I can pick any state from the Midwest, oh, except Missouri. Missouri, except for Missouri, or just pick Colorado. Colorado just now. take Colorado now. I want to see what Trevor's going to do. Yeah. So I will take Colorado right now because I am so happy. No matter, yeah, no matter what you take, I'm happy. 
Sure. Okay. So I'm going to start off with... What regions do I have left? Was heaven. Midwest? Or South. Okay. Let's start with the South. I'm going to take... Um, we're going to go South Carolina. That's a good choice. Got the Myrtle Beach area. You got your family on the in South ocean. I have family in South Carolina. Whoa, what city? Uh, Polly's Island. Oh, an island. Kind of. Are they own the island? Are they no. named Polly? No. Oh, <laughs> um, they're My just renting like part of the island. Build. Um, Midwest, big choice here. I'm torn between two. Do you there... want? Do you want to hear my two? So to me, there are four choices here, and I think it's really down to three. Yeah. I'm assuming your two though. Are going to be Illinois and Wisconsin. Very close. Wisconsin, Michigan. Yes, those so, are the two. Okay, so because to me, it's I- Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Ohio are the only ones you consider. Yes, and was Wisconsin is gorgeous and fantastic, but a bunch of drunk people. I was really hoping you would take Illinois, so I had to go with the Michigan, uh, Wisconsin debate in my head because I was mm-hmm. ready for that debate. Well, it's just, oh. and the, truly my only complaint with Wisconsin is the amount of Packers fans, which is terrible. And we can all agree on that because it's a fact. It's a terrible part of the state, but that's all I can really complain Okay, about. but also you have to acknowledge the fact that, like, they're the smallest city in the NFL. Like, they're the smallest city in the league. They mm-hmm. love that team. It's publicly owned. Like, everything the Packers do, it's impossible not to love. Yes, like, I... I respect them, but but I but hate them. Bad Don. And then Michigan is beautiful. Also, I've never been to Michigan. It's awesome. There's a lot of great places. So you know what? I'm gonna pick Michigan. Bastard man. Michigan's. Oh, best. that was my pick. Well, I should have taken it. <laughs> now it's your way. <laughs> So, you're going to take Wisconsin, Ivy? It's Wisconsin, Ohio, or Illinois. I yeah. Thought, I thought you said you were going to debate between Wisconsin. Because I thought he was going to take Illinois. I ha- I was mid-debate in my well, mind. Well, if you and take then, Michigan, then aren't you going to take Wisconsin? Because I assumed Illinois was already gone. I think, again, much like Georgia, I think Illinois is the correct pick just because of Chicago. Chicago is a pretty great city. Um, we did our special video vlog mini sode there. It's season one point five. If you haven't seen it, yeah, I'm go gonna. Watch I- it. I'll take. We'll link it. <sighs> I'll take Illinois just for Chicago. I I get it. I understand. Like it- it's it's all you need. You could ignore the parts you don't want to go to. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I'm doing it. All right, Kyle. Final pick. This is it. I am going with Philadelphia because they shoot movies there. So you're in taking Pittsburgh Pi- and really? You're going Pennsylvania. And, no wait, Pennsylvania. That's what I meant. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Philadelphia, Pittsburgh. They shoot movies in those two cities. Yeah. <laughs> and shows. Well, okay. Do you guys remember yours? Do we want to just rattle them off real quick to close I think this I out? Got mine yep. Numbered. I have mine written down. So start with Kyle. Okay. California, New Mexico. Georgia, Missouri, and Pennsylvania. Ivy? I have Colorado, Texas, Illinois, Tennessee, New York. I have Oklahoma, Seattle, Rhode Island, Michigan, and South Carolina. I'm very happy with my list. Today I learned Seattle is a state. Oh, I meant (laughs) Washington. I wrote Seattle. (laughs) It's like how you took Illinois for Chicago. I really just took it for Seattle. But I think... I think Washington State minus Seattle is better than Illinois State um, minus Chicago. Yeah, I yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's a smooth transition for us. If we want to head right into Yahoo Answers, are we are we ready for that? Unless Ivy has anything else you'd like to. I would just for? like to say I. I wasn't. I should have prepared for it. Kyle's drafting strategy of focusing around where they film movies, I should have anticipated it, but it really caught me off guard, and as a result, I think that if you value solely off of movies, the country that Kyle made is awesome. I, well, also, um, if, if I was... I, I made an exception for Oz because Oz is so great. If I hadn't gone with that, I would have gone with Illinois because they shoot movies in Chicago. 
Like I mean, Batman, if, yeah, if that's the case, then I just would have bumped down to Wisconsin, so. All right. Or bumped up. You Mace. get it? Because it's north uh, of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Yahoo Answers. We got some people in need this week, and I think we can help them. And we are the only I ones can help. Them. Yeah. Help. Okay. Number one, what is your favorite ocean? Tough one. I will start. Frank Ocean. I'd say 11. Ocean's 11. Okay, okay. Ivy? I haven't seen any other Ocean's movies. Fuck you, Bowie. <laughs> you, like, you seem like you might be an Ocean's 8 kind of guy. Maybe an Atlantic or Pacific type of man as well. No. I can't tell. I'm going to go with the Indian Ocean. Ooh. Small. Um, is that like uh, like Asian Indian or Native American Indian? Excuse me. It's the the Indian Ocean. You know, this is perfect. We still have a map up. Can you point <laughs> to me in the continental United States where the Indian Ocean is? I don't know where it is. Can you? That's my point. Okay. <laughs> um, I hate to break it to you, the Indian Ocean is a fucking ocean that exists between Africa, the Indian subcontinent. Uh, so, it, like, Indian, like, Asia. Indian. Yes. <laughs> yeah! Yes. Have you? Are you not familiar <laughs> with a globe? We like, don't have one. Do you know how many oceans there are? Five. Can you name them? Atlantic, Pacific, Indian... There's two Pacific Oceans, right? No. Two Atlantics. They just, they no. just wrap around the globe. One of them is so big that there's two of them. No. No, it just wraps around on Atlantic. the Atlantic. You already said yes. that. Antarctic? No. I thought that was a thing. The Ant Antarctic it's, Ocean? Isn't Arctic? it the Antarctic Arctic. Sea? Arctic. Is it Arctic? The Arctic. Hold on. Wait. Give me a second. Are there only four? There's only four oceans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got them all. <laughs> Took you a moment. Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, Ar Arctic? Yes. Yeah. Kyle, how many continents are there? Seven. Can North America, them? South America, Asia, Africa, Europe, Antarctica. Can you name how many subcontinents there are? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> I don't I... even, I can't even name one. Eurasia? Those are, that's two continents. Subcontinents <laughs> would include um, Turkey. Actually, that is correct. I would do. I think that. I think that's no. It, I think Oceania. No. What? Um. I mean, it's a tectonic play. Like uh, technically, a kind. Of, um, basically, you wait. Have, is Australia a continent? Yes, it is. And we left it off when we counted the continents because I realized I stopped counting at six. Yeah, I watched you do that, but I was just gonna leave it. <laughs> um, no. So India is a subcontinent. Uh, the Arabian Peninsula is a subcontinent. Is that the Middle East? It's the Arabian Peninsula. It's Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Oman, uh, Dubai, or no, Dubai is part of United Arab Emirates. Abu Dhabi is a city state, so Abu Dhabi and Qatar. Um, I believe that's all of them. I think we got that that person helped out. I'd choose um, India good as a country because they have Bollywood. Bollywood's made some pretty fun movies. I've seen. I've only seen like one, but it was I liked it. All right. Okay. Well, our next person in need. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Mmm, McDonald's is so good. That's like that one celebrity that got McDonald's. Maybe this is them. Maybe they weren't sure whether to get it or not. What's your McDonald's order? Well, as I am vegetarian now, going on three years, fries and ice cream. I will get the Shamrock Shake if it is in season. No, that's... A, even if you're not vegetarian, just like at McDonald's, I think that's a that's a solid order. Yes, yeah. I, I will say McDonald's makes my mouth feel good and makes the rest of my body feel terrible. So, to answer their question of mm, McDonald's is so good, I'd say good. I don't know if I'd say so good. Okay, hear me out. Yeah. This product's going to be a little bit of an invasive surgery. We have, okay. what if we created a product, the mm -hmm. three of us, where mm -hmm. basically it's, you, you open up into your, um... Esophagus? Your trachea? Yeah. No, that's where the air goes. What's the one where the food goes? Throat? 
You just say throat as a we'll general say throat. throat. Yeah. Food tube. Yeah, your food tube. You cut into that, and then you just kind of let a little slide out, so then you can just eat food, get enjoy the taste, but it never actually goes into your stomach. So, like, imagine just being able to, like... Can we move on to the next question? No, I think we should dive deeper into this. Mm-hmm. You're well, uncomfortable? That's... Oh. You're telling me you don't want to... I mean, you and I will patent this maybe off camera, and yeah, we'll, okay. we'll get our money into okay. it. Okay. You if can Ky- bring this up on your other podcast, Ivy. If Kyle really doesn't want an in... Uh, yeah, yeah, that no, no, no. Uh, that's fine. on him. That's on him. He yeah. can he can buy in when we go public. All right. I'll buy the stock. I'll best. Okay. Well, next question. Best remedies for underarm smells. I'm all about all natural products. It is very important to me. I have sensitive skin and I can't do chemicals. So no chemicals, no deodorant. The I got it. The of us need to brainstorm what you put on Don't your body. Don't people use crystals? Ott's wing sauce. Yeah. Basically, we we, it's al natural. Number one ingredient, cayenne pepper sauce. Oof, yes. Ca- that uh, goes in the ground. Yeah. Soybean oil. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Water. And then it contains less than two less than two percent of the following: garlic, whey powder, salt, and then a uh, jaxium gum or whatever it's called that like yeah. makes a consistency. Like there you go. These are all. I know. Like I know what pep, pep, Like all these are real ingredients. No chemicals. Natural. I don't see any bullshit chemicals. It's the it's the added benefit too. As long as you don't wear white. When people ask you, have you been eating wings all day? You can say no and tell them what you did. Or you can say yes and they'll never know. It yeah. just provides a lot of options. And like, I feel like that's going to create like a layer that's just going to crust up. And you can't sweat through that. Yeah. Yeah. Ots. The multi-purpose product. Exactly. I think you could jerk off with it. Next question. <laughs> um, we got three <laughs> left. Who's the sponsorship? Uh, three left. I have $560 in food stamps, food stampulus. Is that a question? No, is it a question is a mark? statement. It's the first one. Okay, but the first sentence ends in a question mark, so I'm led to believe it's a question. Okay, I so... I have $560 in food stamps, but then the description says food stampulus. I'd say the answer is yes, you do have $500 in food stamps. I mean, if you're food stampulus, if that's the title you've been given, that sounds right. Yeah. But... <laughs> My only concern... I don't know if they have enough food stamps. Oh, they haven't earned food stampulus title yet. I feel like you need a thousand food stamps to be food stampulus. So you're disagreeing okay. with the food stampulus part. I no, they're so maybe they, maybe they do have maybe they have they, a title. I don't know what what tier is five. What, you're at five hundred sixty three food stamps. How does that? I don't, I don't know that there were titles until I saw this question. Well, of course. I mean, yeah. Every when you get down to it, basically everything's a pyramid scheme where you have layers that you go up. I mean, hell, the yeah. there, there's a hierarchy. Yeah, there is. Yeah. There's we're playing for points. So maybe maybe before you start telling everyone that you are the food stampulus, maybe just cake it up a little bit so nobody can. Uh, yeah, like can all I'm saying you. is yeah, that like some cake. You you won your rec league food stamps tournament. Yeah. But you're getting crushed at the state level, okay? Yeah. Like, you're not wrecking. You're not the number one food stamps in Oklahoma. Like, you if you be- show up with 563 and you think that's going to get you a regional title, no, you'll get laughed out of there. You're no more than a spectator at the regional level. So if you're going to come out here with food stampulus, <laughs> that's a national level accolade, okay? Like, you might be the Earl of Food Stampington, but you are not yes, food stampulus. I 100%. Which, by the way, there is no shame in being the Earl of Food Sambulus. A food stamping A food stamping yes. yes. There's no shame. It's just you got to get the distinctions yeah. right. Like, if you're a big fish in a little pond, that's awesome. But I'm just yeah. saying, don't talk like you're a 600-pound tuna. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. Two more really solid ones. I, I love it. I think we are keyed up perfectly to answer these. Oh, yeah. Boy. A recipe for food that looks like diarrhea does anyone have a recipe for a meal that would look and smell like diarrhea but be edible? Thanks. Smell and look. Can I just... Why do they want this? Well, they it's a gag. Say. It's clearly a bit. So why would you... I mean, if I you want it to look like it, sure, I get it. But taste like diarrhea? Because they want to... No, no, no. They said... Didn't, 
They said look and smell, but smell is like what sixty to seventy percent of taste. That's true. See, okay, so this is really hard. But it, I, I think like, they said they still want it to be edible, right? Yeah, I'd say you just get some chili and then fart on it a bunch. So the look and the smell. So you're basically taking chili and then like doing all like fart spray on it. Sure. Is that I don't know if I'd call it a spray. No, you know the like fart fragrance thing that. Yeah, but I think Kyle's just saying you go right for it as oh, a cook. Oh yeah, he means <laughs> you, you fart homemade. On it. Yeah, all okay. natural. It's not a bad idea. I. If you guys have ever seen like some vegetarian lentil um, no. recipes, that could look like actually. You know what? Diarrhea. I think eggs smell bad if you like put like 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 hard boiled eggs. If you like put those like in the area, and if you do hard boiled eggs with like chili, that That'll can make, make it diarrhea. really rank. Yeah, like that. Like they'll it'll they'll be like this looks like diarrhea, and you still and then eat it when they <laughs> when it comes out. They'll be like that looks like diarrhea. Yeah. Well, those are a couple options. Yeah, I... I think the... F- I think the chili is going to be the option I would best put out there. And then, yeah, you just kind of got to... I guess you fart on it. I mean, I don't know what to... S- I can't I can't say fart on food. I'm sorry. I like, I like the hard-boiled egg inside chili. Okay, Cause, cause like, I like, like, a fried egg on my chili. Though. Well, no, but so, a hard-boiled egg is what smells like farts. Yeah, I'm not saying... I don't mean, like, egg. I actually like it. I okay. like it for the terms of the question. Yeah, no, that's fair. Because <laughs> I don't think you're going to get something that looks and smells like diarrhea that tastes good. It's just, we're just going for edible. Yeah. <laughs> okay, final question. Does my dog want to die? When walking my dog, there were grapes on the ground and my dog started eating them, even though grapes are toxic to dogs. I can only assume it wants to die. Should I get him euthanized? Jesus Christ. Well, um, here's the thing. Why euthanize a dog if it's going to kill itself? Like, I mean, if you're going to let the dog die, just let it do it by its own terms, I guess. But I'd say just dogs... I f- Maybe if you just pet it more... Yeah, it I think I think it's just like, a little depressed is all. You just have like, to remind it about the good things in life. Yeah. Are there mental health veterinarians? I hope so. I because it sounds like this dog could use it. Yeah, I've I haven't heard of them, but it's just probably it's an issue I have not had to deal with before. I hope I hope that dog gets better and decides not to eat grapes and yeah. doesn't get euthanized yeah. for its own good. I mean, is there anything you'd like to add? Is there a puppy suicide hotline? Like, is there an... Who do you call? Ghostbusters. Kyle, this is a serious matter. We're not... I know you love cinema, but we're talking about puppy suicide. But you said... You said, who do you call? Kyle, it's a call and response in a song, okay? We're talking about dogs... That have se- like the dog's trying to go to go to the farm up on the hill. Like it wants to just. Well, it's not gonna get to the farm if it's dead. Well, I don't want yeah. it to. I'm trying to keep this dog alive. Okay. He's to get it to the farm. So I think the real question. No, she shouldn't euthanize the dog. The dog. I think we already. Okay. Know all- no, no, no. Also. Get the dog help. Does the dog die from eating one grape? I don't think so. Depends on the size of the dog. If it's like a puppy, maybe. And the size of the grape. I, was about to say, I, thought, I thought you were about to say it depends on the size of the if grape. it's like an apple-sized grape, probably. Ooh. Isn't that a plum? No. Grapes are different than plums. Eh, potato, potato. No! Grapes. <laughs> grape and plum. <laughs> They're entirely different. Eh, tomato, tomato. Well, I believe that's been our, our episode this week. Thank you all for listening. If you need any help with anything, please send in user questions. We'd love to answer them. Is that... Is that T- tune in Tune in next week for a special... Thing. And did, if you need not, any not financial sorry. advice, medical advice, or uh, lawyer consultancy, I am all three of those. We'll put Ivy's contact information in the description. No, if they know how to find me. Is that, is that if you shine a light up to your sky, I, I appear. What? Okay. I'm Batman. Guess we got yogurt everywhere. Okay, great.
great. What was that all you wanted me to say? <sighs> yeah, that's, that's it. Okay. Fine. Now we gotta edit the stupid thing. <laughs>